Well, the North Myrtle Beach Rescue Squad is preparing to accommodate thousands at its 63rd annual Fish Fry and Barbecue Fundraiser. The volunteer department runs entirely off donations, and because of the community's support, they've managed to keep operations going for the past 65 years. News 13's Adriana Cotero sat down with Rescue Squad volunteers. She joins us in the studio now to tell us all about their efforts. Adriana. Good morning, Melissa. North Myrtle Beach Rescue Squad is a highly trained water rescue team, and they have both basic and advanced life support ambulance crews who are all volunteers offering their services free of charge. We train 365 days a year. We woke up one day with a spark, and it's something that you hear within the industry is a spark that just keeps you going. A spark that keeps first responders Lance Barnes and Daniel McGinnis on the front lines. You're going to be there for somebody who's possibly experiencing the worst part of their day in their entire life. Barnes and McGinnis are two of these 70 volunteers with North Myrtle Beach Rescue Squad. Volunteer Diane Wood says they have two big fundraisers each year, and the first is coming up on October 21st. It's at the Ocean Drive Elementary School here in North Myrtle Beach. And the beauty of it is it's $15 and it's all you can eat. And we serve until there's no more food. Wood says last year nearly 2,000 people attended the annual fish fry and barbecue. They hope more come out this year, especially as they continue to meet the growing demand for services and to keep it free. The call volume has been up by about 20% over last year. And, you know, it's increasing. And the reason it's increasing so much is the population of North Myrtle Beach is increasing. The squad works closely with both Horry County and North Myrtle Beach Fire Rescue. And they're with us, you know, holding the stretcher and making sure everything is done safely. And, you know, it's, it's a real blessing to have, you know, such a, a great group of people in North Myrtle Beach. Additionally, they are in the process of working with Horry County EMS to get their new Vial of Life program into the homes of those in need. And what it is, is a way to provide your accurate and up-to-date medical information to EMS personnel if they come to your house in the event of an emergency and you can't speak and there's nobody else there. If you are interested in learning more about the Vial of Life, the program coordinator will be at the fundraiser to provide more information. Back to you.